Insert the blade on the right side of the tongue, displacing the tongue towards the left. An assistant can retract the right side of the mouth and improve visualization. Cricoid pressure sometimes brings the larynx into better view. Advance the laryngoscope blade down the midline until the epiglottis is visualized. For a curved blade, slide the tip of the blade above the epiglottis until it stops in the vollecula. For a straight blade, the tip of the blade lifts the epiglottis. Pull the laryngoscope in the direction of the handle to expose the glottic opening. Do not rock the blade against the teeth. Advance the tube from the right side of the mouth, keeping the glottic opening in view. Tip the tube up and in. Advance right through those pores and we put the endotracheal tube in there. Carefully watch the teeth, don't get that metal against the teeth. Blow up our cuff so that she has a good air. our ventilator. First I'll check it by hand again. I know I'm in because I see a uh, mist coming back. And now, Perfect. This, this got too deep for some reason. Let me just pull it out a little bit. What's the problem if you go too deep? Well, we wind up, if you go too deep, you're gonna wind up in the, usually it's called uh, into the right main stem bronchus. So you'll only be ventilating one side of her lungs. You'll be venting the right side and leaving the left side alone. 